Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 39, and it reads, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% of truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God, so people here for a bit. You know, we stay watching the news. You had a vehicle on um, running to this Hardy's. Ran right in this SUV, ran right through the Hardy's, you know what I'm saying, window, and, and deleted two brothers sitting at the table eating dinner. You see, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You, you never know when, you're, when your number's going to get called pretty much, right? This, this is why, another reason why, look, early Monday morning, you know what I'm saying, doing a lesson on just fearing the God of the Bible. Who you eagerly call God the Most High Yahweh, and who you eagerly call Jesus Yahweh Shai. All right? You, you fear those two entities. Because what again? Deuteronomy. It's a quick little lesson. Deuteronomy, and we, when these scriptures, we, we read them all over and over and over every week. But, but for all you new believers, the Israelites are just now waking up to the fact of who you need to fear. Fear now. You see? You, you, you fear now, man. All right? Damn, driver drives into U.S. Capitol barricade, then deletes himself. Come on, man. The, the Lord controlling the minds of men. The Lord be putting spirits created for vengeance on these people. To start deleting either they self or deleting other people. It's a fearful thing. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. We really do need to fear the Lord. Deuteronomy 32, 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Buddha can't save you. We go all the time. Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. Your money can't save you. Your weapon, your blicky, your stick can't save you. All right? The witches and warlocks that you pray to can't save you. Nothing, man. Nothing can save you if the Lord got you on his radar. You see? I kill and I make a lot. That's plain as can be. It don't get no plainer than that. You want you don't know who who doing all the killing. You want to know who's keeping all the people alive. Now there you go. You can't wake up in the morning and say, look, and, and thank yourself for waking up. No. You didn't wake yourself up. You didn't give yourself that job. We're gonna matter of fact, we're gonna get that too. It's just I and I make a life. I wound and I heal. So if you do get injured. And, and, and you come, you heal, you know, it is the Lord that did that, it is the Lord that wounds you, and it is the Lord that healed you. You see, if we, we get sick, you know what I'm saying, and that's say no, we come back right healthy, it's, it's the Lord, all right? Now, you might have took some tinctures, you know, some some herbs and things of that nature, but it was only through the grace of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh that any of that worked, you see? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, because that's what you see going forth, judgment. I will render vengeance to my enemies. Vengeance, yo. And I will reward them that hate me. So the Lord is, you know what I'm saying, handing out tickets, man. <laughs> you see? The Lord is handing out rewards, man, to his enemies, man. And he getting them, too. The Lord showing off getting, what is it, Sirach 11? The Lord showing off getting his enemies, getting them right where it hurts too. This Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. 
Just waking up early in the morning, more reasons on why we should fear the Lord. Prosperity and adversity. So Rock chapter 11, verse 14, prosperity and adversity. Meaning you having things and everything's going pretty well with you. You see, your life is pretty comfortable. Or in adversity, meaning you catching prayer hell. You, you, you know who that's coming from? Life and death. Poverty and riches. You, you on a park bench right about now? You see? Are you sleeping in an alley somewhere, right? Or you got you got money in your wallet? You got a money a wallet with some money in it? Or a bank account with some money in it? Look, look, thank the Lord. Poverty and adversity. Prosperity and adversity. It's like you. Prosperity and adversity. Right? Why am I going through this? Why? Why am I going through this? Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Poverty and riches. You, you just can't get ahead. Or your cup's overflowing. Come of the Lord. All right? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are of the law. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. You see? We don't get nothing unless it's sanctioned from the heavens. That mean, mean nothing at all. And the way of good works are from him. See, the Lord waking us up every morning, doing this work throughout the day, weekends, hitting the highways and byways, all that's being orchestrated by the Lord. No free will. It, it, it cuts the free will. Just throw that free will out the window. Just, just throw it out the window, man. Take free will and throw it out the window, all right? Let's just, let's just, I, want, I want to just get this right quick. More reasons why we should fear the Lord. Second Ezra chapter 15, I'm going to just hit a point. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5, Behold, save the Lord. I will bring plagues upon the world. It's the Lord bringing the plagues. Curious George, swinging from vine to vine, the, the Lord brung that. All right? Uh, the heavy infestation of rats, roaches, and bed bugs. Oh, yeah, the Lord did that. You see? Um, I said locusts everywhere, eating up all the damn crops. You see the storms, the floods, the earthquakes. Look, that's the Lord. For all you new believers, man, you newcomers, fear the Lord. Come in fearing the Lord, all right? Don't come in running your damn mouth and like you know everything. Come in fearing the Lord. Come in humble. You see, once again, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Famine, and that sword represents destruction, all right? Famine, death, and destruction, man, all right? It's going down, man. Destruction, the Lord's controlling it all, man. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. And the Lord said these things were created for the wicked. All these things were created. Let's just get it right quick. Let's just get it. Go right back to Sirach. Let's just get it right quick. Burning some early morning, early morning Earl. Some early morning oil. You see? Hey, man. Lord, Lord, showing off made some moves last night. The Lord took a whole lot of people off this earth last night. He's showing off dead. The Lord took a whole lot of people off this earth last night, man. Sirach chapter 40. I go, go straight to nine. Death and bloodshed. And we know who controls death. We know who controls life. We read it already. Deuteronomy 32, 39, Sirach, um 11, starting at 14, and, and many other scriptures, right? Death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. All these things come from the Lord. All right? These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came to flood. So pl play around, you want to. Play around with the Lord, you want to. He, he end up having you somewhere sitting in poverty, looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, hacked up. You know, Lord had your ass sitting somewhere hacked up, man. It ain't no joke. You got people playing around. You, you still trying to figure out how the hell your house caught on fire and, every, and it, was, it was brand new. It, the Lord, what is that? Um, let's get this right quick. More reasons on why we should fear the Lord. This is just a quick little hit. Fear, we must fear. Remember, it's a fearful thing. Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, right? Isaiah 28, 29. Let's see. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord. See, this is how the Lord visits people. 
He don't, he don't always visit you with hugs, kisses, and smile, and we know. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. You keep forgetting what type of entity this is, man. It's a man of war. They're men of war. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. The Lord controls the thunder. And with earthquake, the Lord controls the earthquakes. You, 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 you that tough? You, you, you're that tough? And look, remember what we read earlier, the Lord controls the plagues now. No matter what you end up catching, it's all coming from the Lord. You deserved it. Or the Lord might have just gave it to you, you know what I'm saying, just to heal you later on. To see if you're going to have faith that he can heal you. You see? And with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. This is all coming from the Lord. This, this all matter of fact, let's, let's stay there. Let's just stay there. Let's go to 45. It's the Lord that's controlling everything. Look, we must fear each and every day, Israel. Every day you wake up, fear the Lord. Isaiah 45. Just want to hit this quick point. Isaiah 45 and 7. And it reads, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I'm just hitting some points. I, the Lord, do all these things. So if it's going to be bad times on the earth, because that's what that evil going into, or if it's going to be peace on the earth, you see it all over the screen. You see it on the screen. It's coming from the Lord. You see, that's why we must fear. And I, I want to get this in close. Like I said before, this is a quick hit because I got the head out. You know. The Lord gave me this job. The Lord made it possible for me to pay rent. The light bill and whatever. The Lord made each and every last one of us made it possible for us to have things, man. Have a roof over our head. We, we got to constantly thank the Lord. Fear him. Fear him. Thank him. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. See, we know the terror of the Lord. We're not playing around. We give it to you. We no sugar coating it. We give it to you black and white. Black and white, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. The Lord put his spirit on us to do videos each and every day. You see? Because we know the terror of the Lord. We're watching the news. We see what's going on. And even when we ain't watching the news, we know that ambulances, fire trucks, cop cars flying past. Come on, man. Medical centers full of people. That's the Lord, man. You see? Shit, um, this dude, you know what I'm saying, um, what was it, Saturday? Saturday, this dude, you know what I'm saying, um, got swallowed by a hippo. He managed to get out of the hippo, but he lost his arm in the process. This is the Lord, man. Remember, the Lord said he created uh, spirits, um, spirits created for vengeance, these different animals, man. The Lord said, I do all that. So, so knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, yeah, we persuade men. Yeah, we do these videos every day. Yeah, we teach our people the fear of the Lord, all right? Yeah, according to the Bible, we tell our people to go to the house of mourning, then to the house of, of feasting, all that damn partying and all that, man. Get your mind right. We, look, man know not his time. Men or women don't know their time. The Lord will get you caught up in a snare, trap you up real quick. But we are made manifest into the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Just a quick little lesson on just fearing the Lord, man. Always. Just med meditate on that. Do the things that, what would it say? Those that fear the Lord. And look, and then the thing about it, I mentioned that, and damn hippo come on the damn news. I mentioned something about that dude being swallowed by that hippo. The, the, the dude said he was in the stomach of the hippo. He said it was stinking in that thing, too. Not stinking, but stinking, all right? He said it was stinking inside that hippo's stomach. And then as soon as I say something about a hippo, a hippo pop up on the damn news, all right? A big one, too. What was I at, man? Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Ye his saints. The saints are the Israelites. For there is no one to them that fear him. All right? And that's plain. And I'm just hit like two of these things and I'm gone. All right? Oh, matter of fact, Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Are, are you not getting this, Israel? The Israelites that are not fearing the God of the Bible, the Lord, that your Lord gonna have your ass soon come. All right, Lord's gonna have your ass soon come. Psalms 115, 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great, man. All right. 
Proverbs 3 and 7, be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord and depart from evil. Because that's the beginning of knowledge. Depart from evil is the beginning of knowledge. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. You see, before judgment, examine thyself. Somebody can put that in the comment board. Deuteronomy 6, 24. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes. We got to release, rehearse them to the best of our ability. The laws are not done away with, all right? And all you Israelites is adding to the scriptures and taking away. The Lord going to visit you soon, come. To fear the Lord, our power for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is this day, man. We want to be Lord, want to preserve from these set perils that's coming. Psalms 2 and 11, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling, man. 2 Chronicles 19, 7. Wherefore, let, wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Lord our power, nor respect of persons, nor taking of gifts. Psalms 34 and 11. Come, you children of Israel. Hearken, meaning listening to me. This King David. And look, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're teaching you to fear the Lord, man. And it's on to the next. Shalom.